Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm a software developer and today I'm going to show you an ERP system that I made for one of my clients from Argentina. This company is a nursery that uh, produces and supplies medical cannabis. First we have to log in and here we have the dashboard with the different models of the system like production, inputs or supplies, sales and reports. Down here we can see how many plants are on the different stages of production. If we scroll down a little bit we can see the different activities that are scheduled to be carried out on the plant and those that have already been carried out such as fertilizer application, watering or pruning, etc. On the right side we can see the different inputs that are currently being used. Ok, before looking at the production module we have to create the seed banks. The seed banks are the providers of seeds that we can see right here. We can add a new one. I'm gonna input a name. And then I'm gonna click on save. Once we have the seed banks, we need to create the genetics of the plants. Here we have the different genetics. We can add a new one. It has uh, two names. We have to select the seed bank, the phenotype, the sex, and then we get the code of the generic. I'm gonna click on save. And then we are ready to, to add uh, new plants on the production module. But first, we are going to take a look at the aero cloners or cloners. The plant trays and the tables where the plant trays are placed. Here we have the tables. We can add a new one. We select the, the status of the table. And then we can change the status. Okay, here we have the production module, the most important one. We can collapse the items. We have all the plants uh, classified by generic. We can expand it and see all the plants or the all the cuttings, sorry. Because we have the cuttings, the plants, activities, the mother plants, the pre-ordered plants, the dead ones, and the delivered ones. First, we are going to take a look at the cuttings. We can add a new one. We choose the generic. 
I can input a, a comment and then I can choose the, the quantity of uh, cuttings that I want to create. I'm gonna create five. I have to select the the cloner and then I'm gonna click on save. When the cuttings grow we can send them to plants to the plants tab. We have to select them and then right click and send to plants. We mu we must choose the transplant date and the table and finally the plant tray. I'm gonna click on confirm and now the cuttings became plants. You can see that we are on the plant on the plant tab. After that we can change the status of the selected products. We can change the status here, the table and the tray. We can also um, generate the labels with a QR code right here. We have the ID of the plant, the transplant date and the phenotype. We can print them and we can modify the size of the label, the QR code the logo and the font size. Save the changes and we are able to print them. We can also see the history of the product here we have the, uh, the ID, the current status, the comments, the date when the cutting was created, the date when it became plant, and the activities like the fertilizer and the dose that was applied. We can also group the views of the products by generic. by strays, by table and by status. And finally we can show all the plants and sort the table by the column that we want. Okay, now I want to show you how to apply the activities on the plants. I'm gonna select two of it, then click on apply activities. I'm gonna choose um, the fertilizer. Here we have to select which product we want to apply. Then we have to 
choose uh, one of the products uh, that, are, that we have in stock the dose like 5 milliliters per liter and then we click on save and the activity was applied we can try to apply a new one like apical this is a pruning and then we have all the activities and the details the date the dose and the comments we can also see the activities on this tab in our calendar by month or by week and also the, the details and the products that were involved in this activity we can filter by category or by type of activity and then we can see the table, the history of the activities now I want to show you how to make a pre-order of the products first I want to send send them to ready to sell ready to sell and then we can select them and click on pre-order I'm gonna select a client and a comment okay so we can see the pre-order the pre-order products right here on the pre-order tab and also we can make a, a sale we can sell them directly I'm gonna choose the client and then we can upload the document of the sale like the invoice for example and also I can um, write a comment then I'm gonna click on save and we can see and then we can see all the sales right here in the sales modules module and here we have the pre-order that uh, we can convert it to sale and here we have this um, this sales ready to to deliver so we can click here I'm gonna input some random values and then I'm gonna click on save and and then I have the the sale delivered and the date we can see the, the, the details of the sale and the history and here we have we you know and here we can upload 
And here we can upload the other document of the sale and change or edit the comments. We can also cancel the sale. And that's all. Feel free to contact me if you want an ERP system like this one. You can find me on my website alanampo.com. Thanks to watch this video. Sorry for my English, but I promise that I will improve it. Thank you and see you later.